From mid-century to contemporary, public to private, we're in search of the very best in art. Homes, happenings, stores, restaurants and people. Things that defy categories. The perpetual freshness and cool of modern never ceases to captivate us. Join us for another edition of Modern Dallas TV to discover what's going on and where in the modern world. Hi, I'm Micah Gilbert, the geologist and gemologist at Impressive Geodesigns. We present the finest natural decor with high quality minerals, corals, and other specimens from all over the world. We provide a variety of functional pieces, including lamps, tables, bowls, and other custom projects. Share in the beauty and wonder of these stunning gems and natural works of art. Visit us at impressivegeodesigns.com. Modern Dallas Real Estate this week is here at 9119 Guernsey, a magnificent property listed by Ryan Strife and Laura Michelle of the Perry Miller Strife Group. And it's incredible. We've been on such a great journey of moderns. Yes, that's right. And I have to say, I think right now we have the most beautiful inventory we've ever had. It's pretty incredible. Ryan, tell us a little bit about this one. Yeah, well, we're here at 9119 Guernsey. It's in the estate section of Preston Hollow at the end of a cul-de-sac on a little over two-thirds of an acre. So you can't get that perspective right now, but it's a really expansive setting. Uh, so that's kind of one of the most striking things when you drive up. Um, but this was actually originally uh, designed by Hardy McCullough, who's a commercial architect. So there's a lot of commercial construction. And then the current owner uh, and uh, kind of brain power behind this is JH Design. And they have completely transformed this property, expanded, renovated. It's, it's exceptional in every way. So Laura, give us a sense of what's inside and well, what, what people can expect. Well, I, first I want to just mention that this uh, property was originally constructed by a perfectionist and now it's been re-envisioned and reconstructed by another perfectionist. And one of my favorite things about this property is the indoor-outdoor relationship. That's why we chose to sit outside with you here today because you really get a sense of the grounds and how it complements the modernist style of the property. There are plenty of features and benefits. Give us a sense of uh, those and what people can expect when they come visit this beautiful property. Well, just hitting some of the high notes, um, you know, as Laura said, the indoor-outdoor relationship, they've done some creative things. There's a drop-down projector screen behind us that drops down. It's actually visible from inside the pool or outside on the uh, terrace or inside. There's a sitting area with a fire pit that you can't see out of screen. Um, the kitchen's just top flight, you know, across the board. The master was kind of repurposed with a larger closet. Um, there are four bedrooms all en suite. Uh, and then there was a second living space was added upstairs with a four car garage, which I think is another thing with these beautiful glass panels. I wish they were on screen, but perhaps you'll see some shots of that today. One of the wonderful things coming down Guernsey is this is really a modernist street. And uh, this is not just this home, there are quite a few. That's right, and what makes it even more special is being on this secluded cul-de-sac. And we're just tucked away, but yet at the end of the uh, street is a Frank Lloyd Wright designed home. And just across from us is another home that was designed by a Frank Lloyd Wright understudy. One of the wonderful attributes of this home is the neighborhood. What can people expect in their uh, shopping and eating journey when they leave this house? Yeah, this is really, you know, Preston Hollow is one of the most centrally located neighborhoods. You've got some of the finest shopping and dining from Highland Park Village to Preston Center to uh, Preston and Royal. Uh, they're all within five minute drive of here. And then getting downtown, you can get in five minutes. So it really is a wonderful location, not to mention that nearly all the private schools are within a 10 minute drive of this location. This is a beautiful transformation of another contemporary. If you'd like more information, you can contact Ryan or Laura Michelle. It's listed exclusively as a hip pocket on moderndallas.net. Thanks, guys. Appreciate Thank the time. Thank you. Hi, I'm Empress, and I'm with Impressive Geodesigns. Today, we're featuring the beloved amethyst. The color can, it can vary from light lavenders to deep purples. The faceted points can range from small to large clusters. The customized lamps and tables and bowls are available at ImpressiveGeodesigns.com.
modern Dallas art this week is at the Marty Museum. And one of the great things about the Marty, you always have great shows, but we've always spoken about what is Marty art. And we arrived and there's the yes. Marty Eye. Well, this was created by Wolf Reutemann. It's called What is Marty? And the M in Marty stands for movement. The uh, A is either asymmetry or abstraction. The D is dimension. You see most, many of them are three-dimensional. And the I is imagination, innovation, all, anything that is um, creative, so. So this is the essence of really, the color, the structure, the movement. Yes. And, and this is Marty Art. Yes. So when we walk through the galleries and we see all the different work, you, there's sort of a variety of different interpretations of what Marty is. Well, I, I like to say that Marty Art comes off the wall or out of the frame. We also show geometric art, which can stay in the frame, but, uh, Mahdi is often irregularly shaped, or it's curved, or it's um, hanging mobiles and things of that sort. So, what, what is, and how did Mahdi start? Well, Mahdi started when Torres Garcia brought ideas back from the Russians who had gone to Paris. See, Stalin wouldn't let them do this kind of art. He told the Russians they had to paint workers in factories, farmers in fields. And so a few escaped to greener pastures where they influenced a whole generation of artists, both in Hungary and in Paris. So uh, Torres Garcia took it back to South America and the Mahdi movement actually began in Buenos Aires in the late 1940s. But then Carmelo, the founder, moved to Paris, Carmelo Ardenkin. And uh, that became sort of the main headquarters of Mahdi art. But there are more Mahdi artists today in Italy than in any other country. And the main person who is the heir to Carmelo, Zangara in Italy, has just moved to Australia. And he plans to expand in, uh, down under Mahdi art in that part of the world as well. Well, it's a magnificent museum. We love coming here. How can they find you? Well, we have a website. Uh, Geometricmodernmuseum.org. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do put out newsletters. If you're a member, you get or get on our mailing list, we can send you emails and so forth. Just come by first and sign up. And uh, we're at Carlisle and Bowen in Uptown, easy to find. Well, we appreciate the time. This is a, a, an absolute jewel for the city. Oh, well, thank you so very much. My pleasure. Thank you. The modern lifestyle begins in the home, and you'll find a range of unique living spaces across Dallas's most desirable neighborhoods. Start your search by meeting one of these modern realtors. Poget began his career with a degree in architecture, followed by years of interior design work including the interior design of several luxury high-rises and commissions for clients' dream homes. Poget's distinct background makes real estate a natural fit. Modern Dallas this week is here at the World Trade Center. It's market week and we're here at a wonderful new showroom, Curate, and I'm here with Jasmine Jaco. Jasmine, what a wonderful concept. It's Thank kind you. of, it's the kind of thing that just makes me happy when I see such beautiful product. How did this come together? Well, uh, my business partner Greg O'Neill and I participated in a number of uh, uh, conferences and events. Uh, one was Design in Daba in South Africa, and we got to witness uh, the, the power of design to solve problems and to improve uh, communities and people's lives. And at, at that point, we decided, you know, design needs to do more than look, than look pretty. Uh, and so we uh, uh, began a journey looking for products and brands. Uh, that, that make a positive uh, impact uh, on the planet uh, and, and on people's lives. So that being said, there's, I, I don't even know how many great products there are. As I, I walked in today after seeing it on Sunday, I just keep looking and seeing new ideas. But each one of these are significant. They have, they're important in their design, important by the designer. 
tell us a little bit about some of the products that you have from the furniture, the great trays, uh, those plastic bags that are recycled. Right. <laughs> I can go on and on, but just give us a sense of some of these pieces. Absolutely. Uh, you know, to us, we say that we're designing tomorrow, and we at Curate uh, define tomorrow's design as being all about smart, healthy, and locally crafted product. Again, product with purpose that makes a difference. Uh, a few examples would be the uh, furniture that we carry from an Austin designer uh, called Petrified Design. It's all handcrafted in Austin, beautiful furniture, very comfortable, durable, uh, comes in a number of fun colors and wood combinations, etc. We love Petrified Design. Uh, you know, you mentioned um, plastics, recycled plastics. We also have a line by an Egyptian company uh, called Reform. It's a woman-owned bus uh, business in Egypt. And they have a new material called Plastex, which they actually make from discarded plastic bags that they're saving from landfill. And they use that Plastex to upholster chairs, stools, uh, rugs, etc. cetera. Uh, we love that line and we love what they're doing and the impact that they're making. Uh, another product we love is a, a, also a local Austin uh, product. It's called Pretty Smart Lamps by a company called Pretty Smart Homes. Uh, they make the entire uh, lamp in Austin except for the electrical components. Um, but they come with these beautiful acrylic plates that we curate, uh, help design. We have a totem collection that's beautiful. They slide into a black walnut base. They have beautiful colors that are controllable from your smartphone. But you can also set it up to alert you of missed calls and text messages. It can help you find your cell phone if you've lost it. Uh, it's got even a breathing sequence to help you relax if you get a little bit stressed out. Maybe you could use that. Um, but that's an interesting concept because not only is it smart home, but there's a reason that was developed. There was. Uh, the founder is hard of hearing, and so the visual notifications that the lamp uh, enables is, is, makes this smart product more inclusive. Uh, you know, more people with different abilities then are able to use it, and, and it makes a meaningful impact on their lives so that they can see if they're getting a, a phone call or if they've missed a text message. And also a percentage of their revenue they contribute to the Hearing Loss Association of America. So it's a, it's a beautiful product and it's a beautiful brand. Absolutely fantastic. One other great Austin artist is obviously Rebecca Fennell. Yes. Those are great pieces, just fun, <laughs> exciting. Yes. Don't know how sustainable, but they're just great. Well, they're, 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 they are great. Uh, the vessels that she has, people walk up to very gingerly, so it's fun to, to show them that they're not ceramic, they're made out of silicone. So they're, you know, they don't break, they're easy to clean with soap and water, super functional, but also super fun and playful in design. Um, and then her trays that you mentioned, grip trays, just wonderfully inventive. They're trays that you can actually uh, hold sideways and the, the cups and glasses don't fall out of them. So very inventive uh, and, and beautiful as well. Well, how many products are in this collection? In the showroom today? Yeah. Uh, we have roughly 75 products uh, in the showroom and we have more online and our assortment's growing every day. And how can they find you? They can find us online at www.curate.com and that's C-U-R and the number eight. Wonderful. We appreciate you being here. We love what you're doing. Thank Hopefully you. it's going to change the world. <laughs> and um, you can see all the details at their website. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. To wrap up this edition of Modern Dallas TV, we cover local modern events and the art scene. Check out the calendar and the arts page on our website at moderndallas.net. There are always great events from the Dallas Architecture Forum, Preservation Dallas, and the Dallas Center for Architecture has great walking tours in downtown Dallas. Open houses every week, always a great selection. You can create your own mini mod home tour and Todd Camplin covers the art scene for us, from art galleries to museums and artists. You can check out his page on the website. And lastly, if you're in the market for a modern, mid-century modern, contemporary, home, high-rise or loft, we simply have the finest moderns in Dallas. For this week, we appreciate you being part of our show. We'll see you later.